pimps, power, and pretty ladies. This is Blacks History Month, a 28-day celebration of black exploitation films. Welcome to the town of Buchanan, or Bucktown to you. Bucktown, USA, as it's known in some places, was advertised as another ensemble cast team-up film, kind of like Three the Hard Way. The two biggest stars are Pam Greer and Fred Williamson, who I have to say, as far as former football player actors go, has to be at the top of the list of the most successful, with Jim Brown being a close second. The movie also stars Thomas Razulala again, who along with people like Gloria Hendry are unsung MVPs of the exploitation era in my opinion. Pretty much everyone in this movie I've talked about at one point or another this month. Tony Kang is here, and he was not only the traitor Zack in Hell Up in Harlem, but he was also the worst member of Gordon's team in Gordon's War. Art Lunn, the crooked cop who beat young Tommy half to death in Black Caesar, is also back as a crooked cop. Talk about being typecast. We even get a young Carl Weathers. I think it's safe to say that Bucktown has plenty of star power. Usually, having all these people in one movie is a way to hide the weak plot, but I'm glad to say that's not the case here. Bucktown is a strong movie from beginning to end and actually delivers a few surprises. Duke Johnson, played by Fred Williamson, comes into town to bury his dead brother. He's dropped off at his brother's nightclub, only to find it closed and shut down. From here, he has to unravel the mystery of his brother's suspicious death and try to pick up the pieces the best he can. Turns out, the town is run by corrupt cops who collect protection money from all the businesses in town and in turn terrorize the black residents. Duke's brother refused to pay, and that's what led to his death. At this point, Bucktown seemingly turns into a basic small town us versus them story. When realizing he's outnumbered, Duke calls in his friends to help him fight back against the cops. You would think that it's building to a big climax with the corrupt cops and the chief of police, but by 45 minutes into the movie, all of the cops are dead. So what's left to do? I won't ruin what happens next, and if you want to watch this movie, I suggest you don't read about it beforehand, because not knowing what happens provides quite the twist, and I think it elevates the movie above what it appears to be on the surface. I will say that I like the idea of a town fighting back against a corrupt cop system that's designed to oppress them. There's some subtle commentary here with the fact that the blacks in town outnumber the white cops but still allow themselves to be subjected to oppression. Even the mayor is black, so you know it's deeper than just power. All it takes is one man to come in and change the attitudes of the people to turn the tide. One thing I don't like about the movie is how Pam Greer is kind of relegated back to damsel in distress. She's the widow of Duke's brother, and is kind of distrustful of Duke because he never contacted his brother while he was still alive. So of course she falls for Duke in the most unrealistic way possible. Foxy Brown deserves better than this. At a point in time when black exploitation movies were struggling to come up with unique and creative stories, I think Bucktown was right on time. It's one of Fred Williams' better movies, and it builds up in a way that makes the ending satisfying. When you get a chance, Take a trip down to Bucktown, USA.